Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Kayla Logan and today we're going to be doing something you've all been asking for for a long time. We're doing a romper and dress try on for spring. Now I do have a few bathing suits that I thought I could also throw in as well so maybe if we have time we'll get to that as well. So I'm going to be sporting a lot of stuff from Old Navy today. That's just because they have larger sizes and it was cheap. It's like 50% off right now. Like I think this romper was 20 bucks. So I am wearing the extra large in this romper. Some of the details that I like in it is that it does come in at the waist. You, um, having an empire waistline is the smallest part of your body. It gives you that hourglass feeling that you're looking for and it does have a bit of a crop. I'm a petite. So this is perfect for me. And I also like that it has elastic bands in the back. So if you are larger busted like myself, it gives you that room and the straps also go up and down. How I would probably style this for like an everyday look would be with a pair of my Converse, a pair of little stud earrings. Hold on, let's see if I got some of that. So I can't find my fucking accessories. So this is just what you're getting today. Um, anyways. So I was, these headbands are like super in right now. It's very like Gossip Girl meets like Blair Waldorf, Upper East Side. So I'm gonna pair the jean one. I would still do a romper and I'd maybe do a curl with this and I keep the makeup really light and airy. And we're gonna get on to the next piece. I mentioned this is everything we're trying on today for you guys. <sighs> Half of this is too big for me. I honestly do not wanna make this video. You've asked for it. It feels like a waste of content if I don't do it. And that's why we're doing it. So I don't even know why I'm gonna attempt to get dressed off camera at this point in my life. Okay. Okay, this is a dress that I'm really feeling right now and I've been like debating whether to keep it or return it. I wonder if you guys can like vote honestly below. It's like very Anna Green Gables, I feel. Hold on. Don't act surprised, you've seen it all before. Oh, I'm wearing a thong though. This is what my videos have just become. I hope I shaved. Oh, I'm in for YouTube. That's where I'm filming. Okay, I'm gonna put these bags to the side. Okay, so all dresses at Old Navy are 50% off right now. I am not being paid for this. This is not sponsored content whatsoever. I'm just kind of feeling this vibe. Fuck me. I'm just... I'm just kind of feeling this blogger fantasy. If you really want to go for it, I put on a big wide brim hat, have my curls down. I throw on a pair of mustard mules because like mustard's super in for spring. I like again how it has the elastic band on the back. So it's giving you shape. You don't just look like a huge fucking bag. Um, what's also nice is they have higher sizes. So they fit both straight sizes and larger sizes. And straight sizes is what they call like girls who are a zero to I guess maybe a six. I don't really know, but hold on, there's a mirror here. I wanna look at myself. I think the hat's too big for this look. I wonder how it would look with a baseball cap. Do you think you could do baseball in Converse? I think you could, if you wanted to like pretend you're super chic, maybe a leather jacket. I would throw on these booties with it. And then I would throw on one of those, oh wait, I have it. So let me get out my, Here, there, there you go. Don't wear your hair up like me, little booties like this. Little jean jacket, perfect brunch outfit. I do a little hoop, yes, yes, okay. So we have that look going for you. Next we have a million other pieces. I know a lot of people love this style. It's just not my style, okay? Also, it's too big. I think this is the extra, extra large. Actually, it's not ugly, it's really pretty. I think a lot of people like this. My friends laid on the couch going, yeah, it is nice. Okay, fine, I take it back. I really like this dress. It's just too big on me. I like how it has the different details and the ruching at the bottom. It gives different shapes. You still get that hourglass here because you have the hem by your waistline. Elastic band for you bigger boob girls. And also, you can adjust it too. How I would wear this is just a little open toe sandal in the summer, maybe a pump, a hat, don't have to get fancy with this. You can literally throw on a jean jacket and put on some Converse and call it a damn day. 
That's what's great about dresses, except for chafing, which I'll show you a product in this video too that I personally use. And well, I bought it the first time, the second time they sent it to me, but I love it. I'm gonna go buy it again. So that's this. I think these are like $15 right now, these dresses. Yeah. Right? It's just like a nice neutral. You could wear it in fall. Right? You could. Fall boots, leggings. Okay, what's this one? Oh, I'm keeping this one for sure. This is one of my favorite rompers that I actually picked out. And I know a lot of curvy people are like, I can't do rompers. I'm too fat. It makes me look like a bag of shit. That's your fat phobic behavior chiming in. Your inner saboteur, as RuPaul would say. I've been watching a lot of RuPaul since last night. I just finished season 10. I wish I was her or him. Okay, I picked the worst possible bra to do these try-ons on, so um, just don't mind that. Okay, I love this. It has no pockets. I thought it did. I was about to rave about the pockets it has, but look at the shape this is giving me. Honey, look at this. It is working in every possible way. And I know you're watching this and you're like, oh my God, I never knew being curvy I could look this good in a romper. It's all about confidence. I could wear this just with my hair down like this for a day out and again, Converse, because Converse are my go-to for everything because I'm comfortable and I love them. But really, you could pair almost everything with this. If you wanna do a little booty, I would go neutral. Um, you could do a nice little yellow mustard shoe with this, uh, a black mule, uh, white's really big right now. You could do a lot, a lot, okay? Also, if you wanna accentuate your waist even more, throw a little belt on there. Yeah, just throw a little belt on. That's all you gotta do. You could do a layer, a couple little gold necklaces. So this is a piece I'm keeping. I love the detailing on the sleeves. I love, I just love it all. It just fits me perfectly. It's mine. End of story, bitches. I guess I should probably film some of this for you for Instagram. Romper taking off 101. This video is gonna be like 40 minutes long. Do you? This is one of my very favorite rompers. I saw one of my favorite curvy bloggers try it on, Chancy. So I ran to Old Navy immediately to pick it up. I thought I was an extra extra large and I happened to buy this twice in extra extra large. Turns out I am not an extra extra. Wait, what size is this? Yeah, it's still extra extra large. So it turns out it's just a little too big for me, as you can see but it has a nice little clasp here, which is awesome, so the girls aren't hanging out. And then, like I was talking about before, the little belt. A belt gives you that nice little waist, which sometimes I feel wrong saying things like that because I feel like I'm promoting like the culture of thinness and the oppressive beauty standards because it shouldn't matter whether your waist is thin or not, but if you like that hourglass look, that's what this does, that's what a belt does. Okay. So I love the feminine ruffle in the sleeve. I'm gonna go back and actually get this in my size. Wide legs are super in for spring. Another myth is that you can't wear stripes being chubby. Yeah, chubby, curvy, it's all the same shit, being fat. But that's a lie. I feel like when I wear horizontal, when I wear vertical stripes, it actually makes me look taller, right? I'm like, yes, bitch, yes. Anyways, pair with the same shoes I was always talking about. If you guys want me to do a video where I'm doing it with shoes and hats and accessories and actually putting on proper bra and underwear and makeup, maybe comment below. But as for right now, I'm not doing that. So, deal. What other hats could you put with this? You could do this again. I love this hat. I haven't worn it in a while. It's been in my car. That's why it's all like beat up looking. Hi, baby. You're back. Uh, no. Ooh, I would do a round purse with this or a basket purse. Those are so friggin' in for spring. I would do a round maybe basket purse with it. And I do a little sandal. Oh, I am feeling this spring fantasy right now. Okay. I love this so much. Right? Like, but it doesn't fit me, so I have to return it. Yeah. But it's so pretty. By the way, me and every blogger are gonna look the same this summer because I've seen a couple of them with this stuff already, but whatever. 
Can you show your butt on YouTube? Um, this is the same romper again. Just wanted to make sure I had it. Oh, it's a different color. Same romper, different color. Okay, okay, we're getting to the bottom. This is super freaking cute for spring. I love this lavender. Lavender is all the rage. We're seeing a lot of lavender power suits. Wait. No, 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 it does fit, it does fit, hold on. Sometimes you just gotta go the other way. I'm noticing a lot of the spring fashion has these buttons going down the front. It reminds me of like the 80s without shoulder pads. I like how it almost has like this lace detailing in the bottom. It's not just your classic kind of maxi where it just hangs down like a bag and you like hope you look boho chic like Coachella. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it does all the right things for my body. But every time I look at this, I'm like, oh, I was gonna return that. And then I see it in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I look so freaking good, I should keep it. But anyways, this has the adjustable straps on it. It also has the band in the back. I love the color. I love the price more. Okay, let's keep her moving. Do you guys like how I do my try-ons? Like, like below. Okay, so that was one bag down. Okay, this is the romper I love the most, but when I went to go back, because I bought it a size too big, um, they didn't have it and it sold out online. And polka dots are everything for this season. And I wore this with a leather little biker hat, like that kind of sailor looking one. And I did it with platform Converse and I just love it. And it has little pockets in it. This is like by far my favorite romper out of them all. If I can get away with it in this size, I'll keep it. It is just so friggin' cute. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, trying on clothes is like a sport. I'm sweating already. And I kind of wish I'd wore like more flattering underwear for this video. Okay. So this is lined, which is really nice. It feels like linen. I just love all these stripes for the season. And I just like feel really, really pretty in this. Like look how gorgeous this is. Same again, adjustable straps. Um, elastic in the back. You could throw in a little belt if you want to with this. I would do a little mule or a pump. It's just so very pretty. I don't want to take it off. I like it. You could also do Converse and a jean jacket with this too. Oh my god. I am I am so pretty. Wait, is it bunching at the boob? Yes. Look at that. This has to be taken back because it's ripping on the seam here. Be careful that when you go to the store, make sure that you're buying products. They're not pulling at the seam. I don't think that I did that. Oh, look. The seam's pulling out here too. I may have to own a few of these products and actually test them out for the durability and the quality because maybe that's why they are so inexpensive because that shouldn't be happening in a product that was only tried on unless it came that way and I did not notice but that's just like kind of poor construction and really upsetting okay next one maybe we'll only get a couple pieces from one maybe then just in case okay this one is way too big I did wear it in a photo shoot and um you will be seeing that shortly. Again, polka dot, super trendy. I think this is really beautiful for the spring. You could do it as a sleeve up like this, or you could also put it off the shoulder here. You could belt it with a little black belt. I personally would do the mustard yellow. You could do a lavender with that. I would do a little kitten heel maybe. Kitten heel is the wrong word. I'm thinking about the sandals that are like pumps with a thicker heel. I need to get my fashion lingo down. There 
have it. Oh my God, I'm busy. Okay. And I think some of the things that are left are like just different colors and the dresses that I've already tried on. Let's see. Yeah, okay, hold on. Okay, so this is a romper I really, really love. But now that I saw the construction of that dress, it makes me really worried. Um, this is the same as the other rompers I tried on. And I love it with the stripes. These are on sale right now too. How cute is this? Hi. 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 This is, I'm wearing something like this out today because I thought it'd be nice. It's really nice here in Toronto right now. Again, elastic band. Adjustable straps, cropped, wide leg, which wide leg is amazing for us curvy girls because that means we can get our fat asses into them. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I would do a hoop. I'll show you what kind of hoop. Okay, we got our headbands that are super in, and then I would do a hoop like this, one of these plastic hoops that are really in right now. I'm having a very like, Princess Jasmine mood right here vibe. Love it. I, um, I've been getting my accessories from American Eagle right now. I'm really loving them. And then I think I have three or four more things to try on because we're not gonna do a bathing suit try on today. Okay, I've been like on the fence about this dress. Because I sweat a lot. I'm worried you're just going to see my sweat marks. It's going to be disgusting. And I have like hyperhidrosis. Okay. So this has buttons all the way down. It cinches at the waist. It has a little, little detail and ruching at the top of the sleeve here. And it cuffs. It's actually really pretty. But I was torn. Is it really pretty or is it matronly? I'm going to do the dreaded white jean try on. I have not worn white jeans in many, many years. The fit of them is amazing. They're an 18. I'm gonna look in the mirror right now. Damn, these look good. Wait, are they supposed to have a hole in the back? Yeah, they are. These look good, okay. See, I'm a sloppy human being, so I feel like I'd be scared to like get my period in them. I'd just be like walking around with like a red sting all day and be like, hey, so fucking cute. Or like I would just like sit on dirt. Like honestly, I'm just so messy. I did buy these jeans and actually a very light shade from Old Navy and um, I've been wearing them a lot. So I really like Old Navy for their jeans and there's a reason why. They're around 50, 40, 50 dollars and they go up to a size 18. So I don't have to actually order online and I find that's really hard to find in stores nowadays. Oh look, got a little knee rip. So I'm not trying to squeeze into some size 12 which would like never happen in a million years. Um, it did when I was 100 pounds less. So I would, look how cute this is. With a little running shoe, a little gold hoop. I would maybe do a little bit of a tuck in. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect for spring. And I would actually do these boots with it. This is like literally a perfect spring look. Let's see it. Yeah, super cute. Super, super cute. And then the other option is, so with jeans, like anything pretty much goes with the white, Great for spring, anything pretty much goes. I have a yellow top over here that's really cute. It's knotted in the front already. It's kind of more of like that mustardy color that we're seeing a lot, which is great. Really light. See, just a cute little front bow here. Hits you in the right points. You don't have to tuck it in. Hi, hi. And that is it. You have it. This is today's spring lookbook try on, trying to make fucking content happen video today. If you like more, if you like more, press that subscribe button below and hit the thumbs up. Write me a comment as well while you're at it.
Why don't you comment while you're at it and let me see what other... <laughs> and keep it in the video. And just comment below and tell me what kind of videos you want to see more of. Bye!